Let's talk for a minute about shot selection. This is often referred to as shot size because we're basically talking about how close or far away the camera is from the subject being filmed, making them appear at different sizes. Placing the camera at varying distances helps tell your story more effectively. Sometimes it might be better to use wide shots and other times it would be a better choice to use close-ups. It just really depends on the story you're trying to tell and how you want to show it. As we go through each shot, pay attention to not only how to set it up, but how to use it more effectively to communicate meaningful stories. Here we go. A wide shot usually includes a dominating background, like shots of a landscape, building, or other large area. If a character is visible at all, you can see their entire body. Sometimes wide shots are called establishing shots because they establish the location of a story. Moving quite a bit closer, you get a medium shot. When referring to a person, it generally shows them from the waist up. While the background is still there, it's less prominent and our attention usually focuses on the subject. A medium shot is one of the most common types of shots you will use in a video. Next is the famous close-up shot. Close-ups are used to show the subject at close range. On a person, it usually shows just the head and sometimes a little bit of the shoulders, although it could be another part of the subject shown at a closer range to see a specific action. There's very little background in a close-up, which means we're totally focused on the subject because they're filling up the entire frame. We typically see more emotion and action in the subject when using close-ups. Now, if we move the camera even closer, we get what's called an extreme close-up. This shot is used to show only a small portion of the subject. On a person, it might be the eyes, a twitch in the hand, tying shoes, or anything else from a super close distance. There is virtually no background in this shot size, which means there's nothing to distract us. Extreme close-ups show the audience a very specific action or a more intense emotion. Often these shots are followed by wide shots or medium shots. So what's the point? Why not just use medium shots all the time? Why does shot size ultimately matter? Well, as stated earlier, it's about your story. One thing to keep in mind is the effect that getting closer to something has. Often, if you want to pay more attention to something, you get closer to it. Getting closer helps you focus on that thing more, which helps you understand it more. Placing the camera closer to your subject helps your audience pay more attention to it. There's not a lot of background to distract them from the subject. So to put it simply, if you want your audience to pay attention to it, get close to it and fill up your frame. Now it's your turn to try out wide shots, medium shots, close-ups, and extreme close-ups. Make sure to include the compositional principles we discussed previously when getting your shots. Next, we'll go over camera angles. See you there.